So the purpose of using sig figs is if you were to go and work with another group of people, let's say, you know, you're all from different countries. Now we've all decided, of course, we're going to use metrics, right? Because that's what everyone else in the world uses. And you need a way to decide how far or in what way you're going to you're going to round. Okay. So like, if in class, if we're all doing the same calculation, some of you will say, "Well, I got 1.425," and then someone else says, "Well, I got 1.42." Well, she probably has five on her calculator also, and that person needs to round up to three. All right, but you decided to go to the thousand, so she decided to go to the hundred. Well, those answers aren't really the same, right? They're different. So we need a way that everybody can use to have all our numbers be rounded to the same spot. And so with six figs, that's what you do. And then whatever the last digit is in your number is always going to have a little bit of uncertainty because you rounded it, and that's fine, but everybody has the same information, okay? And that's important when you're just building things, when you're talking about cars and hair bags and maybe how much uh, of a certain kind of drug to administer to someone, that's not really information that you want people to screw up, okay? So, uh, we start out with, is there a decimal in the number? Yes or no? And then we're going to follow the rules accordingly and this should be reviewed because we've done it before, right? So, on this one, is there a decimal? No. 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 So, which way do we go? Left. That way. So, Going this direction, we start with the first number that's not a zero. What's the first number that's not a zero? Five. five. So we count the five and everything after it. So one, two, three, four. All right, you got four. All right, what about this one? Is there a decimal? Yes. Yeah. Can we go right. this way? All right, what's the first number that's not a zero? One. So one, two, three, four, five.
one zero nine zero zero five. I'm sorry. Are you multiplying or dividing? Multiplying. One hundred nine thousand. Oh, I did not do that. That's all right. <laughs> Two point six. Two point four. Two point what? Four three five eight. Let's just do three five eight. Stop there now. You can only have three six eight. Where are we gonna stop at? What place? At the hundreds. It's five, but what are we gonna round it to? So two point three five eight will become two point three six. Yay! Okay. <laughs> Multiply a hundred times. 733. How many six things in 100? One. One. Good. How many six things in 733? Three. 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 So how many is our answer going to be able to have? One. 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 Okay, so what's the answer without six things? Seven. Seven. Three. 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 Okay. Now, here's what I'll see a lot of you do. You'll say, oh, one six thing. It's seven. <laughs> Wrong. That's one six thing. You're right. That is one six thing. But friends, there is a big difference between 7 and 73,300, okay? So, what would be a better way? 70,000. 70,000. Yep. All right. Now, 75 divided by 10. 7.5. 7.5. Yeah. 7.5. 8. But, look at your your six figs in your uh, original numbers. One of two. Yeah, you have one of two, so you can only have how many six eggs? One. One. So what are we going to do with eight. that? Eight. Eight. Good job.